growing and dying. And basically, that one is just everything is either growing or, or disintegrating. You know, if I hold an acorn in my hand and I never stick it in the ground, it's going to eventually disintegrate. You know, it has to be planted and then it'll start to grow. And if you keep, I put the little acorn on your bookmark because there's a parable of the acorn that I like. If, uh, if you plant an acorn in the ground, do you think that acorn thinks, ah, I shouldn't even bother, where am I going to get bark, where am I going to get leaves, where am I going to, you know. <laughs> but it's got the blueprint of a full grown oak inside of it. But it doesn't freak out. It doesn't think, oh, why bother? Pull myself out of the ground because I'm never going to be able to have this. The acorn also uh, brings everything it needs to it. You know, it pulls it out of the soil and the air and, the, and you know, it toils not, neither does it spin, you know, the, consider the lilies of the field, you know. It's not worried about where, when, and how. It just is what it is and trust God to bring it to you. And if you can be like that, I think that's what Jesus is trying to say when you consider the lilies of the field. It's just be who you are at the core. What makes you find joy and what brings Him glory and He will bring it to you. And you don't have to worry about the how and the where any more than the neighborhood does. So, if in the story of Sarah, for example, where, the, where she thought she was too old, the, the Lord and the angels came to them and said she will be she'll conceive, and it was just in a short time that she would, and she laughed, and she thought, mm, what, you know, she's about close to 100. And the question that's posed in that, is, any, is anything too hard for the Lord? Nothing is too hard for the Lord. All these other things are bigger or smaller or whatever, but God is bigger than it all. He's bigger than whatever problem, whatever dream you have, or whatever challenge you're up against. And I'm going to give you three, just four quick tools Whenever you're against something that seems bigger, you think you don't have the comp you don't have self confidence or whatever. I call it halo. <laughs> and this is this is my formula for activating grace. It's not really my formula, but it's God's formula for activating grace. Do you know what grace is besides that last saving thing? It's an enabling power that enables you to do something far beyond your own human capabilities. To, if you read in Ephesians, it's about bringing forth good fruit, coming and being bigger than what you are. If what you were going for is way bigger than what you are, then you need grace. You need Christ's grace. Or God's riches at Christ's expense. And the way you activate it is with halo. It's humble yourself. Really admit that I don't have what this I don't have what it takes to do this. I'm gonna need your help. Even if you think you're good at it, go ahead and say, I can be even better if you would help me. Humble humble yourself and admit you need God to help you. A is ask. Ask specifically, ask expecting an answer. L is listen. Listen for what he tells you to do. And then O is obey. And leave the rest of it to Him. As long as you're humble, you're asking, you're listening, and you're obeying when He speaks to you, leave the rest to Him and trust it. And He'll turn this, you know, anything around and make anything happen for your good.